Natalie, she came up here yesterday and we mixed up the colour for her. And she's going to get the exact colour she asked for. Which is pretty bloody good, just quietly. Now, get a hard now. Nah. It's important to mix your hardener through. Most of the problems of glassing comes from um, the hardener not being stirred in properly. It happens so much. Righto, let's get it on like Donkey Kong. Just checking my laps all good. wetting it out, let the resin do the work. I watched the video this morning and this guy was glassing and it looked like he was wrestling the board. His arms going backwards and forwards and I really didn't quite understand why there was so much Let the resin do the work. this, bring it down here, around here, where the patch is, spread a little bit out, there we go, now, roller, it's got two layers on the bottom of this, six, uh, seven and a four, While I'm rolling it, just to help it. I'll just shut that door for a sec. Right, let's get this on.
Monica Noss. That couldn't be good for it. Right, a bit of fresh air. Just checking it, getting off any little strands. Just that came off with my, when I did the lap. Yep, it's all looking good. Deep concave through here, so there's always a little bit more work involved in making it nice and even, like this. Right, now I'll do one more go around the lap. Let's just make sure the lap's all perfect. yellowy colour but it's got a hint of orange in it. It's looking good, really happy with it. Hint of orange. You've seen a GoPro floaty that was sitting in our GoPro box and said, I like that yellow. So, good clean my hands and then I will I took my gloves off a second ago because they do deteriorate I'll put another pair back on and clean my equipment looking good This is all a quick clean. Always clean your roller. Don't leave it in acetone. Ready for the next roll. Number one rule. Next one, clean your squeegees. I don't leave mine in acetone. These are the Surf blanks ones, they're nice and soft. They don't need to be soaked to soften them up. Been using these for years now. Really happy with them. Okay, that colour's looking beautiful. Now I'll just go around and do one more check just to make sure this lap's perfect. I 
I know it is already, but I'm just doing it. Doing it for the camera. Doesn't hurt to go around one extra time because if, if it lifts up or something has a drip or something, it shows up. So for, for the sake of an extra minute, because I'm only doing a few boards now, not, you know, I'm not doing glass and ten a day or anything like that. So I can take my time. Like when you're doing 50 a week glassing, it really puts you under a bit, little bit of pressure and I just enjoy this slow pace. And this is a slow pace. So I'm just making sure my, my lap is dry. What I say, no excess resin. It's perfect. There we go. Just clean my hands. Get my squeegee clean. Yeah, perfect. That will do, donkey. Right, eh? that looks good. See how you can see the the weave and everything, it's it's not too wet. So I'm happy of that. It's what we call nice and you know, not overly wet, not 